uh, hello in this video we are going to explore the uh, understanding of crack and json file uh, so in the previous video video we have successfully created the configuration file with the help of designer so in this video we are going to explore uh, what's the syntax and what it, uh, what different fields and its uh, functions so the first is schema uh, uh which is the syntax uh, for that crack and d so if i will hover over it on the specific specific feed it will prompt me to the details so in the second the syntax version of crack and d which is currently current version is three and two and two one is the deprecated version so on the next there is a name field uh, which i have explained it in the designer that it is used for telemetry and analytic purpose and the timeout function uh, which will pass at different times it will actually aggregate the all uh, http requests time cycle like if there is uh, five to six endpoints inside the backends then that time uh, timeout will apply on all so if uh, anyone uh, add a timeout and specific endpoint it will be override so the next is cache ttl means that uh, you will cache the uh, header for specific request and the other is output encoding and there's port which we have defined 8001 and disable keep alive equal to false similarly for the endpoints the important part is endpoint actually uh, this is the api uh, post which is the url uh, uh, definitions of uh, calling outside from uh, okay endpoints which is very important in endpoints uh, actually the first uh, is the pattern of uh, your url and the method is get and output encoding is json inside backend there is a url pattern uh, actually the first uh, endpoint which is accessible to the client only so uh, if you access the backend specific endpoint then it will be uh, defined inside the backend url pattern and the encoding is json and sd for static uh, and the method is get, get. so host to uh, the backend host is json placeholder type codes like this and uh, if I will try it on the uh, browser like this and uh, its post is like this it will gives me all post data so actually this is the backend uh, API route so uh, I have defined the um, uh, first part of the domain is inside the host and the second part is defined inside the URL pattern so that's it and the next is host sanitization is used for security purposes I have disabled it right now and the target there is nothing it's empty I will explain it in the uh, future video uh, similarly for groups and mapping uh, these uh, uh, concepts will be uh, uh, covered in the upcoming videos and uh, uh, for in the extra configuration we can use extra, extra configuration for the purpose of like if we face in any uh, at specific point endpoint a chorus issue or anything like uh, we apply a uh, rate limiting so we will use that uh, here uh, max rate uh, request i have added 15 the client max rate is 5 uh, it means that max rate uh, of uh, backend can receive 15 and client can uh, make a maximum uh, uh, request per second 5 so their strategy uh, I have passed IP in and uh, the input query string if you uh, if anybody can f uh, pass specific fields uh, pass it over here if we assign a query string also there is input header i have added asterisk means except all important thing about uh, the concurrent call is that uh, one user can request at a time three calls for specific endpoints 
uh, it can be um, like 13 or maximum depends on your hardware capability if your hardware can support you can uh, maximize it but uh, the documentation suggests three calls so that's it for the explanation on the next video we will going to uh, check that specific uh, configuration in action so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe our channel